What's up guys, Pop 101 here. Today I'm going to be showing you another modding tutorial as I work on a couple of new weapon mods. Um, I recently just finished watching Sword Art Online and I wanted to make some of the weapons from it. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get some of those into Unity and see how it looks. Um, as usual, if you guys can and just let me know if you can actually hear me when I'm talking. Just to make sure that the stream is working properly, I'd greatly appreciate that. But it looks like it's working, so... Greatly appreciate it. Okay. And it sounds like it is. And you know what? Let's just take our Andu sword. So we can have a bit of reference when we make this. There it is, nice and beautiful. All right. I do. All right. Here we go. What's up, Hawk? Perfect. I'm glad you can hear me. All right, we get a couple of them. Um, sort of mind the Excalibur, um, the Olive Sword, Night Sky. And Kirito's Elucidator. I thought there was one more. I guess maybe I didn't get it yet. But I guess for now we can start with the Elucidator because that is the most popular. And hopefully I did that properly. I think I did. Looks pretty good. Of course, I reuse prefabs. You know how much effort or how, how difficult. Oh man! You know how difficult it would be if I didn't. Real question is. It is all right yeah that's good um, textures let's just make sure yep all of those are the same so let's drag it in and see what we got so I spent a little while going through and actually finding some good models for these weapons and I'm gonna be making them uh, all by hand so let's try it out Not too shabby. How's it going, Chris? All right. That looks to be sized somewhat decently. Let's just make it a tad smaller. As long as the, uh, as long as the, the handle is properly placed, looks good to me. What's up, Quizzle? <laughs> the fire ant. Right. And let's start putting in some of these textures. I like this. A bunch of different ones and all right let's just start creating some of the materials
close out of Visual Studio. It's uh, taken up a bit more than I'd like. Alrighty. Should have no more issues with speed and everything. And it looks like everything's fucking good. So let's we'll start putting some of these in. It's the albedo, metallic, normal roughness. You're right, Hawk. I really do need to. It'll happen soon enough. Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just give me a little bit of time. Albedo, metallic, normal. All right. So if that's what we got, or metallic, <coughs> normal. God. I'm assuming this is the handle. Right, let's duplicate this a couple times. that first one, let's start on the second. Got our metallic and our normal. Actually, let's just look up a picture. Might be better because Sketchfab is sometimes annoying when it comes to that. Okay, just want to make sure that we are coloring it in properly. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Perfect. And here's our model. Charles the Shinobi for Nomad. It is Nomad already, at least just the weapons are. And I do have a Rasen Shuriken that is ready, at least ready enough. Um, but I'm waiting for script support. Once that happens, then I'll actually be able to make Charles the Shinobi for Nomad, but have it be actually, you know, good like it is now. Base. I'm looking forward to that. Because I've been getting so many requests to make Trials of the Shinobi for Nomad. And I understand why. I just... Uh, <laughs> I just want Nomad to get script support already. It'd make life a lot easier. And I think we have, what, two more? It's the albedo. Let's get back to this guy. Albedo metallic. Normal. And here we go. Our last one. Then we can figure out where all these guys go. So let's do control S. Make sure to save it. And of course, we want it to look like this. So black in the middle. Yes, Chris, I'm going to be adding back the Naruto waves. Um, there's a couple of them already up on Patreon that I haven't released publicly yet. But I don't think that's right. But when it's when they're all complete, then it'll be it'll be uploaded. I think that might be right. Maybe not. OK, 
Okay, let's see. We got this. Ah, the clover. I'm guessing that's what this is. All right, so that's all set. And it's done. Let's try this one out. How long would the SR fits uh, the script? I already, I, I mean, since I already have the scripts, it'll take me only a little while just to update them. Hopefully, um, just based on how I hope the transition from Nomad will be. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Kolya, I already have one up. Um, you can check my YouTube channel for a tutorial on it. Trust me, Hawk, I completely get it. But this was the best model that I could find. So I'm, I'm dealing with it. You know, could be worse, to be honest with you. All right, that's all set. Awesome, Chris. And yes, Oscar, this will be for Nomad as well. Since I don't plan on adding any of the scripts to it, it will work for Nomad and PCBR. Okay, one. We got most of these guys ready. Let's see. And I'm guessing these are both the exact same. They look the same to me. Let's check it out. This, that's the end, and this little diamond. What is that? Um, I don't. I'm not seeing this anywhere on the weapon. Um, do I even need that? I don't think I do. Unless you guys, this is uh, something that I don't know about, but. I don't think that's the case. Oh. Let's shut that. Oh, for the new version of Unity? No, not quite yet. Um, for the new Unity version, it's basically the same. So it, it really won't be an issue anyways. Oh. Well, this is 3.2. 20 f1 as you can see at the top right here if you're asking for a 3.23 which you said in your second message no i do not have a tutorial out for that just yet but hopefully um, soon enough i will and let's do this last one honestly i think all those textures are the exact same so i don't really think it'll make much of a difference so let's just drag this on just in case. Yeah, they're, they're all the exact same. So what we're going to do is if we delete those, bada bing, bada boom, and we have our elucidator. I got to say, I, I really love this weapon, and I'm glad that I found a model that's good too, because a lot of the ones that were out weren't the best. But, and this one actually has a proportionally sized blade of how it was in the show which is something that a lot of the other models did not have. Okay, and it's clipping, but that's because I have the other weapon underneath it. Um, so that's what it looks like, and I think it's looking pretty great so far. Um, so let's unpack it and see what we got. I did spell it right. Yeah, that looks, that looks right to me. And I'll name it Pi Elucidator, so in case anybody else makes one, there will not be any conflicts with it. Which, as you guys know, is very important. Because we hate when there's conflicts. And because I'm going to be making these by hand, 
I will hand in two handles and make it all nice and pretty. Yeah, I saw that a lot of people were struggling with the handles, and I'm not sure what the issue with them was. But, um, for any of you that have watched this show, do you know which way he holds this? Because I, I don't know. I don't know what's the proper way. I'm thinking that I need to reverse the handles. But uh, if anybody has actual evidence for it, please let me know. Uh, 1 to 10 making mods is, if you can follow instructions, I'd say it's probably a 2. Um, if you can't, or if you struggle with directions, I'd give it maybe a 5 or 6. Because there's also a lot of going back into the game and making sure everything works properly. What's up, Dragar? How's everything going? Yes, I will be making the Dark Repulsor as well. I appreciate the like means a lot to me. Yeah, that is really weird. It should be. But um, I will be making a tutorial on how to set up the handles again, so don't worry about that. Um, and let's scale this guy up just a bit. So that we can grab the blade as well, because we all love half-sorting. And, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that that's the middle. <laughs> it's okay, Drago, you're fine. Don't worry about it. The edge faces away from him. Thank you, Zia, or Zaya, however you pronounce that. I appreciate that. All right, so we have the handles. Let's set up. Well. I did scale it already, so that should be fine. Um, blue arrow facing the blade. Let's make a nice, sexy preview so that it looks good in the book. Um, this should be good. Uh, let me just drag it down just a smidge. Yeah, I like that. I think that's, oh, that's perfect. Whoosh, right there. Handle one, handle two. That should be good. Let's set up the piers. Let's drag it up to the tip. Set that to zero. Because it's at zero, zero, zero. Although it is slightly off, which is kind of annoying. So I want to yell at the guy that made this. But, alright, let's take a look at this. Let's set that to be eight. Oh yeah, that's actually not bad. Have I ever paid for a model? <laughs> yes, actually, I have paid for many a model. Um, what usually happens is I um, do favors for models. So if it's one of my modeler friends, I'll ask them for a model, and in the future... I will help them out with something, with a project, with making a mod, putting it in game, or I will send them a script so that they can code something. But I've paid for models before. Um, I've bought models off websites before. And it's, well, I've never had an issue with it. Um, especially because a lot of the people that I get models and stuff from, they're all really nice online. So, yeah. Oh, this is going to be really annoying, but, you know, we don't have a choice. So, since we're going to be making these all by hand, I'm wondering if I shouldn't now. Yeah, you know what, it is what it is. Because we want these gliders to be the best. All right. Let's pull it away from the edge just a little. And remember, guys, Control-D to duplicate it. Oh, 
Maybe don't duplicate it just yet. Let's drag this just a little bit back. Alright, that looks good to me. So let's duplicate it, drag it over, and let's do this a few times. You want to learn Unity and C Sharp. For C Sharp, there's actually a really good tutorial for it. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, this one right here by freedcodecamp.org. It's on YouTube. Yes, it's a little bit over four hours long, but it is an incredible tutorial if you want to learn how to um, code with C-sharp. And for Unity, I'd recommend actually just start making mods with it, to be honest with you. Follow my tutorial, my mod making tutorial, and um, you'll learn how to use Unity from there. Because being completely honest with you, I learned how to how to make mods from Drag's tutorial back when he was the one that I used to follow before I made my own videos. So, yeah. That's annoying. Alright, um, let's, let's test this out. So if we zoom in, how would I make a collider on a, on a curved blade? I'd make it Okay, um, so let's say that this is curved right here. I would make it, let's see if I can just draw it for you. All right, see him attack. I hear you. Okay, so you wanna make one on the curved blades just so I don't have to change this. So you wanna set up your colliders like this, ready? So like that, like that, then like that. If the curve is that much. Honestly, it's super easy to do. Let's say your collide or your curve isn't that high. You want to set it up like this. There you go. For something like a katana, that is perfect. It's okay. You didn't distract me. I appreciate the uh, sitting with me as I'm making mods. So this is there's no issues at all. Um, this all right. It's actually really good, I think. Let's go back to it. Um, what I'm going to do is shrink it ever so slightly. Yeah, maybe not. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to keep it, keep it where it is. It's probably a better option than I can lengthen this right here. And it can go through the base as well. Just maybe a little bit less. Better yet, just drag it up. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. And let's grab these middle three guys right there. Bada bing, bada boom. And the most middlest one. One of the very middle. Let's set it up like that. And now we have our colliders. Yeah, they're not perfect, but they are. Oh, actually. Let's, let's make those a little bit bigger. Why not? And if we take a look at it, this is what it'll look like. And the collision should be perfect for the blade in game. Um, since the handle part really isn't that important, I think we're fine just using normal colliders or box colliders because they're very easy to use. So we take this, if we simply just drag it up like this. Ah, look at that. Okay. So this is a little bit bigger. So let's just make it just a smidgen bigger. That should be perfect. All right, cool. So we now have our handle. The colliders for the base game dagger. I don't think I've actually looked at those. Um,
Where is a piece of junk? Uh, resources, maybe? No. <clears throat> um, where is it, Hawk? Maybe I just don't have it. Eh, I guess I'll have to look at it. That's fine. But I, I haven't. I take it that they're horribly made, or that there's just a lot of them. Oh, wait a minute! I know exactly what you're talking about. It's just the one. It's the one capsule collider. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean now that I remember. No, it's terrible. The the <laughs> The blade is literally this. Did I have any examples? Oh, I guess I did. Uh, yeah. And look at this, guys. Look at the colliders. Yeah, just the one, just the one around the blade. I mean, you know, if it works, it works. By all means, use it, but <clears throat> you'll never catch me making a weapon like that. Let's put in a box collider. Make it nice and metal. Oh. Why do I have two metals? And a metal heavy. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna... Special maps physics material. What? What in the hell? No. Let's delete that before I get confused. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here we go. The elucidator and... Bada bing, bada boom. Let's just work on a couple of these colliders real quick. So we have our metal guy right here. And honestly, this will be fine no matter what. But the part that sticks out is that right there. So what we're going to do is just shrink it a teeny tiny bit. You know what? I want to make the, the pierce go all the way down. So I'll do that in a minute. Alright, let's set it up like that. And perfect. For this, let's bring it out quite a bit. Beautiful. It's nice and small, so that's how we want that. Perfect. And let's just bring one more. Also, for those of you that have not tried the, uh, the refurbished Game of War, or God of War game that just came out on Steam uh, for a PC, I'd highly recommend it. It's a great game. That's how I've been spending the last couple days. And it is so much fun. All right, let's duplicate this, set it back to zero. Drag it down, and that's thick as we want. And you know that's there. I is that normally on the weapon? Um, oh yeah, I guess it is. <clears throat> All right, well, if that's there, my only question is: Is there a texture that's specific for it? Because it looks like there was one. Um, eh, maybe not. Alright. Yes, I can show how you port it to Nomad. There is... I did make a tutorial on how you export to Nomad as well. So you could check that out. 
I think that'll help you. But I really don't think that needs a pierce, so what I'm going to do is just put a little collider there for fun. That's perfect. So we have our clouders all set up. We have our beautiful, gorgeous weapon right here. And I do know that there is a new way to be doing it, but I don't really care. So we're going to just generate that guy right there. Perfect. P cube one is our mission renderer. Save that. And I don't think anything else is using new material three. And it is not. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is open up Photoshop. And I'm gonna make a custom mission. Actually, I don't I don't even think I really need one, to be honest with you. Um, so let's see. This was it right here. Ah, no, I, I really don't think I need, I'll need one. Uh, I could have a little bit of fun with it, so let's let's try this out. So if we drag this all the way up, that's what it'll look like. So let's change this to the Thunder Road Lit Shader. Oh, actually, let's not do that quite yet. Um, we're going to need to set it to Mose first. So why don't we why don't we make this? Yeah, why not? Yeah, nothing better to do. Let's drag it in. So if we drag this in, the edge is white. That's fine. This one, same thing, probably. I don't know. The reverse. My question is, how do I want to do this? Because the normal blade is black. I think I'm just going to just do the edges of it. I think that'll be perfect. Instead of this. Because that doesn't look as good to me. So if we grab it, we drag it in. And this is just a 4K video from anime that I was working on. So. Well, let's take this back. All right, we can just plop it in. Here we go. And to make a very nice, cool, and sexy, uh, what do you call it, emission, let's make it. All right, here we go. So all we're going to need to do is, if we leave this the exact same, um, we can take a brush, alt-click, it'll be that color. We can actually play around with the different colors on it, but let's see. Let's just find a nice one. Yeah, why not? All right, let's uh, experiment with this just a little bit. I think that looks decent. Let's take a couple more. Ooh, this looks a bit fancy right there. Just for a second. All right, let's keep playing around with this. And we can just find a couple more.
keep clicking on that. Add some scratch marks. Beautiful. Change up the color just a little bit. Uh, get a couple specks. I don't like that it did that. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Of course, we like this guy right here. I think I did exactly what I didn't want to do by mistake. So, if we export this as the emission, let me take a look at it. Yeah. I mean, being completely honest, I kind of like how it looks, but I just wanted to do the edges. So if we delete this, Kind of annoying. So the black is not the emission. The other part is. Oh, I realized what I did wrong. Okay, so for those of you watching, ignore what I just did. It is technically right, but. So let's just delete these. Let's go again. So we don't want to touch those. So what we can do is have some fun with the outside. And I'll show you why. So if we select this, it's already highlighted in the color. So let's, let's do control G, click on it. Let's make it a bright white. And anything we don't want it to look like, we can change. So, just as a little test for you guys, we make it black. And now we try to export this. Watch. This is what it'll look like. So if we select the blade, and drag this onto the emission, now the edges are different colors, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. And you know, while I'm here, let me just turn off the mesh renderer, because that's annoying as can be. And we're starting to get this to look exactly how we want it. So let's try it again. And that we know how this will work. We can experiment. Just some nice variations. And since we want some scratches, let's go get those again. And just for some fun, put in some white on that as well. And I think I'm good with this. Let me 
Let's try that again. It looks like it's supposed to be there. Ah, there we go. Cool. And we have our emission on the edge, some little scratch marks on the blade itself. And it's not the best, but I think it looks pretty good. So that is our mission for the weapon. And let's select everything except for the except for the materials. And in order to save a lot of space, hit crunch contrast and apply. These are a lot smaller than the 2.7 megabytes that they originally were. So we, we have our elucidator. I think it's all good to be honest with you. Let's just uh, increase the pierce just a tad. I'm good with 8.8. Eight. Can have it go up to that. So that should be good. Slash, slash will be the same thing. So. Let's do eight to five. Drag it down just a smidge, and beautiful. We have this is a blade. That is our blunt, and we're looking perfect. All right, guys, that's awesome. So we have our elucidator and it is finished. Um, let's just drag this in and since it is just a big SAO pack, what I'm going to do is just drag it out like this. Now that we have this, let's make a very lovely preview. So generate the icon and this is what we get. I'm really happy with this how, how this came out. Well, actually almost happy. How about I finish it properly? So if we go into our textures, what we're going to need to do real quick is uh, convert it to Mose. And we do not want the emission map to be on at this moment. So what we're going to need to do is just set it to 111. Okay, so we're just going to need to select all those after we choose our reveal preset. So we have our base, our mose, and our normal should be here somewhere if we can find it. There we go. And that's it, guys. Okay, now that's it. So now it can get nice and bloody too. Um, and we can add our script to basically everything. We add the reveal decal. Set it as a quarter. All right, and our weapon is done. And we finished that and it came out pretty awesome. So why don't we start working on another one while we're here? Another one that I really wanted to do was the this guy right here. Okay, so we can drag this to our desktop. Okay, maybe not. Let's try that again. Fragrant olive textures.
There we go. There's your mono, drag it to textures, and yeah, that'll be good. So it was the fragrant olive sword. I think. Yeah, fragrant olive. Alright, let's drag it in. Open it up and see what we got. Looks like a normal sword for the most part. So let's drag it up. And then we we'll just compare these to the dark saber really quick. Because of course I know this better than any other weapon. Oh yeah. Dark Saber and the Elucidator, that's that's perfect. Perfect sizing. So let's get rid of the Dark Saber now that we have the Elucidator right there. Unpack it and we can name it something like Pie Fragrant Olive. So that there's no conflicts with any other sort of online models. Now, this looks like it has a really long blade. Didn't expect that, but alright. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And they're both lined up properly, so I'm just gonna. Go ahead and get rid of that. And this will be the last model that I'm going to be doing on stream tonight, but definitely going to be very good. So let's set it to both. Oh, and it has a lot of different parts to it. That's perfect. So select it all. Drag this bad boy on. We have our, our base, metallic, normal, roughness. So our base. Metallic. That's pretty shiny. Uh, base. Metallic. Normal. Fix it. And here we go. This is looking a lot better now. I gotta say, I'm gonna love using this in game. Because after just having watched the show, this makes me really want to use it. Right, and it's set up for the most part. We have the holder point. We can keep mostly everything the same. I was thinking about doing that and um, yet to uh, actually having these weapons have their abilities, but that's that's going to take too long than I'd like to spend to code. So what I'm going to do for now is just leave them as the weapons themselves. Just like what I did with the uh, the bleach weapons, just makes it a little bit easier on my end because right now I just I don't really have any desire to do that. Maybe in the future I will, but let's do this. And is looking pretty good. And let's just have it go to the bottom of that. So. Yeah, I'm liking where that is. And this handle, ooh, let's bring it up a bit. This is one long blade, apparently. 
Alright. Go do that. Set the peers. Pierce is done. Set up this slash damager. Oh, I completely agree. As long as you have the weapons, I mean that's that just that's what does it for me. Anything more is just good luck. Take both of those, delete this. <laughs> and if we extend them, wow, that, that actually covers the blade perfectly. And I gotta say, these edges are, they're not really bothering me. I think that looks perfect. Alright. And we do have our handle to worry about, so. Oh. There we go. And this is what I was looking for. Based on how it is, we can shrink this just a little bit. Perfect. And not to be a perfectionist, but one of the most fun things about this game is the little details. So for this, watch. Watch and learn, guys. Let's set this on the Z-axis. Now, when actually touching this part right here, you'll be able to put your fingers in between. Now, it's, it's, it's a very small. It's very subtle. Um, if you're not looking for it, you probably won't realize that you can do it, but it's just one of those things. Because one of the things I look for when I'm trying out mods is the little details that modders put into them. And things like this is always my favorite. There's still a collider there, but it's just not as, it's just not what it was. All right, so if we take all these, just shrink them just a smidge so they're perfect. And there you go. Be able to put your fingers on it. That is our handle, and let's actually duplicate this and bring it up. Like it's good. Let's bring this guy over. All right, blunt collider that looks pretty good on this side, so I'm just going to duplicate it, flip it. Oh yeah, 
that's not going to work too well, is it? Um, well, let's do that. And then if we do something simple like math, <laughs> it'll do it for us. Right? Yeah, it's, it's close enough. And same thing with this. If we just drag to the side, easy peasy. Alright, and I want you know what? Let's just drag this one over a little bit. And look at that. Beautiful. Okay, not quite. Let's just drag it a smidge first. There you go. Right, and let's cover up this final part right here, and we are done with the colliders. They were looking pretty good, guys. So that is that. And the blade covers everything it needs to. Alright. And let's generate this in view mesh. Looks perfect to me. Turn off the renderer. And let's 12 lowers the blade. Alrighty. Perfect. And last but not least, why don't we duplicate this? Name it MS for the emission. Drag the emission onto here. So then we can have one separate. So Ah nice of you to join. Hopefully you like this. <laughs> and if we turn up the emission, you'll see that only the blade changes. Which is exactly what we want. And I could do something little like have the rest of it glow, but I just I like the blade. That's that's what I normally do, so I'm gonna stick with that. And that looks pretty perfect to me. Um what I'm gonna do now is just drag this into Photoshop. Ooh. Let's make it nice and black like this. Uh, I forget how to. I don't know how to automatically rotate it. I know how to change the size like that, but. Something little like this, just for some pizzazz. Just a couple of little patches. And let's take a peek. See if I know what I'm doing. And I do not. <laughs> Yeah. 
let's just go back. Because it's not dark enough. Actually, better yet. Everything we want to have the emission is currently white. So, to change that, let's do this. Trying to avoid making them as large as they were, but it's not seeing it very well. Again, let's change the angle. Add some spots for some fun. All right, here we go. Why you not want to work? Okay, so there are some scratches. Well, that's good at least. I really don't want to have to make the majority of it be dark. That's the issue. Guess I don't have much of a choice, do I, guys? So. It's a sexy little in view that we got there. And now that's attached. Convert it to Mohs. Get our preset. Click the wrong thing. My bad. Well, that's probably what it'll look like. Okay, here we go. On the emission, we convert it to Mose. We have our base, our normal, our mose, dragon, and here we go, dragon to normal, and we should be good. Ta-da! There's our sexy emission. Cool. Set to 111 already, and we are set. And might I say, this is a beautiful sword. And I think we got the rest of it down, so, uh, cool. Last but not least, let's uh, choose a sexy icon. And it's a bit shiny for me, so I'll watch this. Turn off all the lights. And now, let's generate it. See if that did anything. 
Looks like you can see it a little bit better now. Not a heck of a lot, but it's better than nothing. Cool. All right, guys. Um, I think this is it for the tutorial today. Hopefully you've learned something. And if you haven't, thanks for just stopping by. Um, if you haven't already, there's links below to my Discord server and Patreon where you can join, subscribe, just have fun with the community. Lots of fun. Hang out. Um, I'll see you guys next time. So, if you like this, leave a like, comment, or subscribe.